Hi there everyone, my name is Pritam and I welcome you all to this channel. In this video, I'll be talking with you about Microsoft Office. And we will try to see the difference between Office 365 and Office Perpetual. The Office Perpetual is nothing but Office 2021 or maybe Office 2016 or Office 2019. The Perpetual mean that you're going to buy the license of Microsoft Office permanently, which means that you do not need to purchase it again. While Office 365 is subscription based model, which means that you do not own Office license, but you pay the subscription fees on yearly or monthly basis. In this video, we will try to see which Office has more features, which Office is better and which Office you should go for. I mean, not for all user, either of them make sense. Means for some user, Office 365 may be a good choice. For others, Office 2021 or Office 19 makes sense. In this video, we will try to clear your doubts about Office 365 and 2021, which may help you to take decision that with which office you should go for. So let's get started. The biggest difference is in terms of how you pay. If you're going to purchase Office 2021, then you're going to pay it only once and it is there with you for a lifetime. However, in case of Office 365 subscription, we pay small monthly or yearly fee. Now in terms of feature, the Office 2021 comes with Office apps like Word, Excel and PowerPoint. The same thing you also will get with Microsoft 365. But here is a catch. You will see the huge difference in terms of features available exclusive with Office 365 and you won't find that in Microsoft Office 2019 or even with latest 2021. For example, the editor which is sentence and grammar checker tool similar to Grammarly. Another tool is voice dictation function and so on. Similarly, in Microsoft PowerPoint which help you to quickly create a very nice presentation which is known as Microsoft PowerPoint design ideas which is very nice tool to have. Another tool which are exclusive to Microsoft Office 365 are premium templates. For example here in templates.office.com you have a library of templates available which you can download and use with your office but there are premium templates which are exclusive for Office 365 users. So here we can see this diamond icon shows that this template is premium and is only available with Microsoft Office 365. So this is again another feature which distinguish Office 365 from Office 2021 or Office 2019. And as mentioned here in Microsoft official website, the feature update is only available with Office 365 and the perpetual office which is Office 2021 or Office 2019 will only receive security update but they will not receive any new features. And even if you bought Office perpetual, you can only install it in one PC. While in case of Office 365, you can install one license of Office 365 in five different devices. For example, you can install it in your computer and then in your laptop or in your mobile and so on. Not only that, you will also receive one terabyte of online storage data in OneDrive where you can save your files and folder and documents. In terms of cost, here you can visit Microsoft official website there you can see the pricing difference between both. For example, the Microsoft 365 family comes with 6199 per year, while Microsoft 365 personal come at 4899. Similarly, the Microsoft Office Home and Student Perpetual License that we need to pay one time is at 9199. So based on your requirement, you can go with any one of these, but uh, there are certain features which are only available with Office 365. So you can make your decision with which office you want to go. In my personal opinion, for most of the user, the Office 365 is a better choice. However, there are some restrictions in many companies and they do not want their data to be leaked outside or to be gone outside then in such scenario, they can go with Office Perpetual License. 
and the major benefit of having Microsoft Office 365 is that you need to save your document at one place and it will automatically got synced in cloud. For example, let's say you are working with a file in your office in a desktop. The same file can be accessed while you are going to home using your office for mobile and the same document later on you can access using your home laptop or home PC. So this is the best value that Office 365 provides us which is it makes your data independent of which hardware you are using because it saves all your data in OneDrive. Also you have option to save your data offline as well. So I hope that I may able to clear your doubts about Microsoft Office 365 and Office 2021 or Office 2019. If yes, then don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel for such content and I will see you soon in my next video. Till then, bye-bye.